Oh, he's okay. Samurai. Sorry, Professor. You weren't able to find the Kronos, were you? He wasn't talking. I think he knew who sent us. The boss isn't gonna believe our cause was dead when we got here. They're making me look very unprofessional. He wasn't saying anything anyway. These investor guys don't really know anything about manufacturing chronos. We need to look for scientists. Maybe you shouldn't blow off their heads. I wasn't talking either. Sometimes I don't know what to do with you. Still, it is somewhat impressive that you were able to eliminate the swordsman. The boss might be able to overlook your murderous tendencies for it. It was no big deal. Yes, it was. I saw his handiwork at Studio 51. He killed dozens of men effortless, effortlessly, effortlessly, and dis dispassionately. He was ready for battle almost before I came at him. There was nothing behind those eyes. No soul, no remorse. He didn't care about his mission or the people he killed, or even himself. I know I'm hard on you sometimes, but I'm proud of you. The dragon was no ordinary null. Jeez, no. Think the boss is gonna give me a reward? Probably. Speak of the devil. Jesus, it's a fucking close. It's a sharp. Get over here, V. <laughs> now I'm on a bike. Bike chase. Okay. Damn. Get 
him. <laughs> Wanna roll? No. Okay. I gotta get him first. <laughs> Death by me then. Finally, I get this guy. It's over, V. You think I've never done this before? I've killed six of you, no. How the fuck do you think I got this job? I think I look like shit now. This is a fucking scratch. Snow can't save you this time. You know? One no shot me seven fucking times from a mile away. When I found him, I rang his neck like a fucking dish rag. <laughs> like a fucking dish rag. You think you're tough shit? The dragon? Well, I'm the dragon slayer. He's not the dragon. I am. You've been difficult to find. I have questions. Damn. You missed your appointment this morning. I learned why when I turned on the news. So I'm not the dragon? Pinkachu? 
There's a smoldering helicopter on the highway. The mayhem you've caused is inexcusable. We will talk tomorrow. We're directly home. Prepare for tomorrow's assignment. Now you know, after the bar, of course. Somebody's queued up 30 plays of the end of the road, but the second district jazz ensemble? Alright. This looks like finale territory. You look like you've had a rough day. What'll it be, sir? Appletini. On the rocks. Scrubs reference. <laughs> Six more fucking months. We would have blown those fuckers out of the water. cro bastards couldn't fight for shit. How the fuck did they win? You got something to say, buddy? Nothing. <laughs> you know where you are right now, don't you? This is a vet's only bar. in the war too. Looks like a distinguished service crescent. Tarig. Yeah. Did you get it? Punch up on fifth? You got a real baby face. Ain't nobody but vets and junkies in the third district. And you ain't a vet. How many you kill? I lost my memory. Nice story, baby face. Warned it seven years ago. You would have been sucking your mama's tit when we were out in the jungle. You know, we would have fucking won if those goddamn hippies in the first district weren't bitching about the child killings. Fuck the cro -Mags. Fuck the dead kids. We should have won. <laughs> That's the spirit. This runs on me, baby face. Cheers. They hated us. I thought we'd be heroes, man. I thought they'd get all the pussy when we came back. Because of those psychics or whatever, government mind control spec ops, laboratory test two freaks trained to. Is that old man filling your head with conspiracy theories over there? Ignoring that old blowhard. You ever hear about the government combat drug program? Kronos? Hell if I know the name. And these fucking death squads. Full of psychic super soldiers killing people by the thousands. Straight up massacring villages. Apparently they had them on some kind of drug to make them see the future, read minds or something. I had a buddy who who met once, played a game of cards and won every hand like he knew had played out before it even happened. You telling you the card game story? Shut it, Ray. Look, all I'm saying is there was some serious sci-fi shit going on. And maybe we would have won if they'd left the fighting to real soldiers, that's all. You know, in seven years, not a single savvy's listened to me. You're a bad liar, but you're a good guy. Well, drink up. Cheers. Bar's closing. It's time to go, sir. They took care of your tab. Let's go. Inside the door. Uh, what? Run, okay. 
I don't understand you. Help! Terrorism that occurred on the District 1 highway. 34 dead. Three days remain. Almost there. Open the door. You're not mad at me? Why would I be mad at you? I'm sorry, last night when I asked you for help, you wouldn't listen to me. I thought you were mad at me. There was something wrong with me last night. Oh. Dad's friends came over. I didn't have anywhere to go, so I hid under the stairs with Behemoth. Um, I didn't eat dinner last night. Uh, I'll make you something. Really? Let me see what I have. Okay. You found some protein paste. <laughs> Did you find something? Uh, all I have is protein paste. You. Sorry. Well, I guess I'm hungry. Uh, I need you to leave, but you can you can stay here today. Uh, okay, have a good day. Bye. Hmm. Sit down now. What the hell were you doing last night? Your mission was to kill Alquazum, not destroy the fucking city! There are two dozen wrecked motorcycles and a goddamn helicopter on the highway. What the fuck were you thinking? I don't know what happened yesterday. Does the name V mean anything to you? V? What the fuck is V? It's a goddamn letter. What the fuck are you talking about? What do you want to? In the sensitivity of our work, do you understand the discretion our mission demands? Was this all an elaborate advertisement for your services as a killer? Because that's what it looks like. A big fucking look at me! Well, our superiors say... You're not looking too hot right now. I bet you want a hit of that good stuff, huh? You're not looking so hot yourself. Oh, the arms. Yeah, that's fucked. Yeah, I guess I don't look so great right now either. Rough day. But what I've been through. It doesn't even compare to what's in store for you. You don't even know about it, do you? The withdrawal? What are you talking about? Jesus, you really don't know, do you? You stupid fuck. This is it. This is how it ends for you. When the drug runs out, you suffer for eternity. Time stops. You're stuck in your own mind with nothing but nightmares to keep you company. You're gonna wish you were dead, but it'll never happen. These neighbors of yours, yeah, they're dead to us. But the shit I gave them, they're still there in their minds. It'll never end for them. An eternity of torture, where no one can even hear you scream. Heh, <laughs> maybe I can show you some of the things that real... Get your dossier on the way out. Act like a goddamn professional tonight, dragon. The name would almost be humorous if your recklessness didn't jeopardize our lives and everything we've worked for. I am not the dragon. A preposterous of me. Of course, you're not responsible for the rash of highly visible third district murders. It must be some other dragon. Not all of them, no. I met the dragon. What? 